hand that grazed Gomez. Gomez seems to have the instinct for Juan Laporte's punches. He can duck him. He made him miss 80% of his punches. And that'll wrap it for another action-filled round. And this is round four. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, from Roberto Clemente Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Forte getting off to the slow start. Bernie, as you mentioned, as you were watching the fighters being introduced, Laporte did look very tight. He was, and he usually is a slow starter. He certainly was now. Question being, there's the uh, referee getting the trunks up on Juan Laporte. The protector's still so high that uh, you have to discount low blows like that. Both men very slow opening this uh, fourth round as well as should be. They fought blazing first three rounds. Not punch. Gomez not punching hard. Laporte still trying to land that one punch. Of the two men, Gomez has boxed beautifully up to this point. Laporte has not shown much mobility or boxing ability right now. Almost not punching with the strength and authority that he did in the first three rounds. He seems to be just punching hard enough to get those points. And to maybe lull Laporte into relaxing. There's the left hook again by Laporte getting in. And again. Well, has got to keep his gloves up. He's getting too careless, and that hook is starting to come in. Approach one minute left in this fourth round. It's scheduled for 12. The referee with a signal, watch both your heads. As far as the cut on Laporte's eye, nothing further has happened. No further bleeding. It's a little nick. It's been taken care of in the corner. And it is not a factor in this fight. Fredo Gomez, an outstanding amateur, record of 83 and 3, won a gold medal at the Pan American Games in 1974. Good right hand by Laporte. Well, Fredo has landed 20 punches before Laporte gets off that one hook. That's costing him these rounds, one after the other. He must be confident he can pull this off at the end. seconds round four and it is on to round five Wilfredo Gomez moving up in weight once again and facing a strong puncher in Juan Laporte Gomez said should he lose tonight he would retire but of course we've heard that before the oldest song in boxing should retire. He's 27. He's at the height of his power. Unlike other champions who should retire and stay retire, Gomez is not one of them, regardless of the results of tonight's fight. Gomez with 40 victories. He is 40 and won all 40 by knockout. One draw that in his first professional fight back in 1974. He's obviously been told in the last round and in this one box, spend the time. Box him, show him you're a better boxer. He's certainly done that. But he has lost the steam on his punches. He was really relevant. Hey, a low blow there. He came out winking the first couple of rounds, did Gomez. He went for the early knockout when he can't. Then he goes back to oh, 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 oh. The thing about Gomez is you never know when he can pull the trigger. Good pity pack all over.
able to recuperate and go back to his lick. He doesn't follow it up. Terrific body shot by Laporte. Terrific hard body shot that almost doubled over with Fredo Gomez. And Laporte connecting with a flurry on Gomez. Best rally of the fight for Laporte. Now he's finally doing what we were talking about. He's got to follow it up with more than just one punch, but there he goes back to the ropes. And there comes the punching machine. Oh, the right hand nearly made full contact. The crowd reacted, but it missed. It was close, but it missed. Well, was his people hollering worriedly, box him, box him. This may be the first round that Laporte has pulled up close. Coming to the end of the fifth round. I dislike even rounds, and so therefore I am calling it for the 40 very unofficially. 59 46 for Wilfredo Gomez. Four rounds to one if you're keeping it that way. to round six and Laporte has uh, made it clear that he feels Gomez is in trouble after the fifth that he's noticed that Gomez is all swollen up plus he gets tired and slows down there is some swelling under the uh, left eye of Alfredo Gomez he has those high cheekbones and they usually swell up in his fights sharp bones Gomez continues to go to the body. It's a bad equation there. He, Laporte takes six, seven, eight, nine shots and then wants to land one hard hook, gambling that that one hook will turn it around. Well, it's been a bad equation because he's been unable to land that hook more than once or twice. In the meantime, he's taken an awful body beating. And he looks very amateurish when he lunges at Wilfredo Gomez, who keeps his balance, always punching from all angles. As a piece of tape dangling from the uh, glove of Wilfredo Gomez. Past the halfway mark, round six, referee Octavio Miran, out of Mexico. Wilfredo doing all the fighting in round six. He's done all of the fighting in this round. There's a minute left. It's been all his punching. Laporte has decided to while away this round. What's going on in his mind? No one knows. The flurry by Gomez. All you have to say, Wilfredo Gomez thus far has been a thing of beauty the way he boxes. He's been punching in bunches. He steps back. He avoids the counter bowls. He's been hit several times very hard, but by and large, it's been a 20 to 1 ratio. And it continues to paint Juan Laporte. What could Laporte's corner be telling him? Hold off until the 6th and 7th and then open up? What a mistake. 15 seconds left in the round. Another strong round for Wilfredo Gomez. And this is round seven. again Laporte back to the ropes and he backs to the ropes flat-footed in a defeated manner he's not bouncing he's not moving he's not showing any boxing capability he's not coming forward I don't know what he's waiting for back 
into the ropes, and here goes Gomez to the attack. And again, Gomez feeling the confidence, talking to Laporte as he throws the right and left, and Laporte try to unleash the left hook. Gomez tossing Laporte earlier in the bout. Now he's going to get a warning for that. He's holding behind the neck. Gomez holding behind the neck, and he doesn't have to. And we're seeing some of the early punching power from Gomez that we saw over the first two, three rounds. He's got it back again. Certainly, Laporte can't take too much more of this. 